Man, we are here in week three of the Indie Gaming League Summer Circuit, and we've got another good one coming your way. As always, I'm Commissioner T now, and I'll be calling this game for you. Our matchup tonight features two of our Division I teams, which is our Champ and Up Division. We've got Purple D Rank taking on Calculated FC. Both teams coming in here at uh, one and one, so expect a pretty good, uh, pretty competitive match to be uh, had here. Um, I just got the lobby information from the players, so I'll be joining that shirt shortly and we'll get rolling. Alright, so let's go ahead and uh, unfortunately, as if fans of the stream uh, know Commissioner Smash, normally the my co-caster, he uh, he won't be joining for this one, but hopefully he'll be able to get in here at a uh, at, at the later one. Here we got another one coming at you after this at 8 p.m. between our top two Division Three teams, Bros Before Throws and S7 Esports. So very exciting night here. I'm happy to be spending it with you guys, and uh, I'll be keeping an eye on chat, so don't hesitate to reach out and talk to me. Um, Jacob does says, let's do this. Hit us up in game chat when we're good to go. Uh, I am ready. We got Fishface and Triton. Everybody showing up to watch this game. This is going to be a good one. Um, I see we have all our players here, so I think we're going to go ahead and hopefully get this started. Um, I don't think I can actually access game chat without joining, but let me see if they, uh, they can see what I'm doing here. The mustache. Hey, what's up, guys? Glad everybody's coming in here. You know, we got a good one on our hands with uh, Purple D rank taking on Calculated FC. Purple D rank in the orange, Calculated FC in the blue, and we are off. Orange controlling the tip right away into blue territory, but Slater comes to knock this one away. Going to be pushing this one forward. Nice control off the wall there. Hits towards Slice, who gets a good stop on that and starts moving it forward. Beautiful air dribbling from Slice, but he can't quite turn it around in time to get a shot on goal. Now Jacob does looking to push this back the other way. Jacob the and Hammer Pants might have a little familiarity with each other after our Friday friendlies. Both of those guys, um, or no, I'm sorry, I was thinking of uh, I was thinking of somebody else. I got uh, got my players confused there, but. Uh, they're going to get familiar with themselves after this match here, though. Hopefully it'll be a uh, full five-game series here. As you know, that uh, that Tina is always a uh, always fan of the five-game series. So uh, we've got uh, people cheering for Calculated FC here, but uh, unfortunately the fans of Calculated FC aren't going to like to see that as a uh, beautiful uh, off-the-wall play here from Hammer Pants. Taps it up to himself, knocks it in. Very well done. Really good play from him. You see that Season 3 Grand Champion uh, title there. I think we're going to expect to see some good plays from Hammer. He's a, got a definitely good quality player. And oh, speaking of plays, I thought that one was going in. Slice is going to take a second shot at it, but Slater's there to knock it away. But Slice gets that one to go. Powerful offensive showing here already from the Orange team as they take a 2-0 lead early on with just a minute off the clock. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in tonight. Always great to be hanging out with you guys. Uh, for the subs, don't forget that uh, emotes are unlocked now. The one in the, uh, if you see in the title at the end there, it says Indie GAT now. That's the emote for the Tier 1 sub, which I think a lot of you have. So uh, make sure to uh, make sure to make good use of that one there. But, uh, yeah, Rube, I, gotta, I do got to pace myself. We've got a four-hour marathon coming up on Wednesday, so I hope you guys are all going to be able to tune in to that. We've got games starting at 7 and then at 8, 9, and 10, and we are not stopping the cast. Love the emote spam. Thank you guys so much for rocking that. It's a, uh, you have no idea how awesome it is to uh, have your own emote showing up in the chat really a blessing you guys have made that possible by uh, supporting IGL and supporting what we're doing and we can't thank you enough uh, great shot though from Jacob the uh, off the wall or uh, aerial off the ceiling there was going in for it and blue team's putting a little pressure on but it's looking like their uh, their offense is denied here by the orange team and now they're looking to push the counter attack good clear from Slater here but hammer pants is there to try to knock this one up Dribbles it off the wall, tries to pass to his teammate, but it goes back into orange territory. Blue team may have a chance here, but Hammer Pants is there. Good recovery on his part to get that one away. 
Nice hit from Slice there, though. In the blue territory should be a, should be a good one. Um, but uh, blue team gets that one away, <laughs> Rube. <laughs> that, that is hilarious. <clears throat> Freight Train's got his money on Calculated FC. That's who I was I was uh, thinking of. For some reason, I started saying that Hammer Pants played on Friday, but it was, uh, it was Freight Train. Um, Triton, do I need help casting on Wednesday? I think Smash will be around for some of those, so I'll, I'll have some support on that on that one. But it uh, should be good. We are thinking about doing a uh, guest co-caster week uh, during week four. I'll be sending out a little bit of information on that at some point this week. Um, in the meantime here, though, Blue Team has gotten a few good looks at it, but Orange defense has held steady, but Blue's really amped up the... Uh, defensive efficiency on their end, keeping the ball out of the goal, even though Orange has had a couple opportunities as well. Jacob Bell comes flying in, tries to make the hit, but Slice knocks this one forward. Slater is back on the defensive, and Hammer Pants goes to look to cross it to his teammate, but it is knocked away. Slice, though, still gets a really good touch on it, but Jacob does there with the save. Hammer Pants threatening again. Can Jacob Bell get up to make this save? No. Hammer Pants elevates a second time to knock this one through. Good save initially, but uh, unfortunately Hammer Pants just had the boost to get up there and uh, knock that one in. And if you're just tuning in here, this is the first game of the series. Uh, this started off here at 7 p.m. Um, Eastern time between Calculated FC in the blue and Purple D rank in, in the orange. Purple D-Rank has pretty much controlled this from the opening tip. This is just game number one here, though, so plenty of time for uh, uh, Calculated FC to try to make a little bit of a comeback here. And, and uh, you know, if not in this game, then certainly in games, uh, the games that are going to follow here, because blue teams looked looked quite a bit better here after the initial minute when or uh, Orange put up two goals on them, got got a quick lead there, and that can you know that can be pretty demoralizing. So. I love to see our A squad guys showing up in chat. What's up, Fishface and Nuggy? Thanks for tuning in here. Jacob though with the demo to try to clear the way for Slater, who pops the ball over the defender, but isn't doesn't wasn't quite able to connect on that beautiful pass from Jacob Dub, but Slice beats Slater to it, and now this one's probably gonna be a goal for Orange, but no, Jacob the with the with the recovery. I didn't think he could get there in time. Now Slice Messing around with it in front of the goal, knocks it to Hammer. Jacob, a uh, good attack there to try to push that one in. Blue team's definitely pressing up a bit, looking to try to make something happen here in these last 40 seconds. Great, uh, I don't know if that was a double or a triple tap, clear off the wall from Slater to keep that out of danger. Hammer pants with some nice dribbling moves, but the shot's uh, across the way. Slice goes up here to try to knock this one in, but uh, gives it over Jacob, uh, who tries to dribble it forward here. And, yeah, I mean... What can you say? Orange just looking good this time around. Slice, really uh, really good dribbling plays there. Unfortunately, errant touch from Slater, and Slice just controls this one in there to make it a 4-0 for uh, Purple D rank in the orange as they uh, take game one here pretty convincingly. Um, but we'll see if Calculated FC has anything to show here in uh, game number two and game number three. And hopefully games number four and five. I'd like to see uh, Calculate FC make a comeback here and turn this into a five-game series for us. So Orange Team, great play. Hammer Pants and uh, Slice really putting on a show in the first match here. And uh, taking it to Calculate FC, getting the 4-0 victory pretty easily, controlling it from the opening tip. Let's see how Calculated FC responds here in uh, in game number two and, and see if they uh, they can bounce back a little bit here and convert some of those opportunities that they showed here early on in the, or I should say in the middle of uh, middle of game number one. These guys are ready to go at it. They jumped into their positions and they are ready to go. Thanks so much to everybody for tuning in. I see we've got 13 viewers. As always, I'm Commissioner T now, casting the game for you. Happy to be doing it on this uh Monday? Is it Monday? It's already been a hectic week for me, and uh, I'm losing track of days already. But yes, on this Monday evening here for you. And uh, we've got a good one between Purple D rank and Calculated FC. Purple D rank already picking up right where they left off and definitely... Uh, Definitely knocking a great one in with a good pass off the wall from Hammer Pants. Really well done by uh, Hammer Pants and Slice there. Great team play. You can tell these guys are pretty familiar with playing with each other, and uh, it shows. It's showing on the field now. Setting each other up and uh, putting plenty of goals on the board here. So Jacob, though, beautiful touch, though, into the middle, but Hammer Pants is there to clear it away. 
You know, and the uh, the ongoing romance between uh, Dream Team Supreme and the Mustache and A Squad. It's a it's a love hate romance though. But this time it's well, this time we're in the love stages as Mustache is calling Dina Star to uh, to get the win on Wednesday. And shout out to you, uh, shout out to Dina Star though. I believe if I'm remembering the stats correctly, you were the number one. Uh, you had the no you have the number one player ranking right now in Division Two after your really strong showing there in week number two. So really well done, man. Nice, nice play to uh, to get yourself up there, get your team to win. Really well done. And yeah, Triton, I agree with you. CFC is gonna gotta tighten up a bit on defense. Unfortunately, so far we're not seeing it. It's a they're down 2-0 again, but uh, good bump there on Hammer Pants. Now we might have a chance here from Blue, but Slater. Unfortunately, the aerial's a little bit off as Jacob the tries to knock this one away. Hammer Pants though takes a shot at it, and Jacob the uh, beautiful deflection is there to save that one away. Can Jacob the get another one? Yes, he can. Clears that, but Hammer Pants keeps that one on the play. Then the slice knocks this one at the goal, but it is off. Jacob the saving everything. This is the uh, tightening of the defense that Triton was calling for here. Let's see if they can convert some of this into offense though. They got to get it off their side of the field here. Orange just relentless, slicing hammer pants, rotating in and out, making sure to keep this ball and shots flying on the blue goal. Looks like we've got an opportunity here, though. Slater knocks us up, but it's bumped by hammer pants. Good bump, and uh, still good. Still Slater gets the challenge, but can't convert as the defense was there. Now hammer pants dribbling through the middle. Beautiful dribbling move. This ball's dangerous territory in front of blue goal. Can slice convert it? No. Just off the post, and looked like Jacob was there to knock that one a little bit. And uh, now ball bouncing in front of Orange, but Hammer Pants clears this one away. Good, uh, good defensive moves from Blue here. Slater with the fake, and that almost drops. I don't know how Slice didn't get a save for that. That one was about three quarters of the way in. Slice with the miracle save there, knocks that one out, and then Hammer Pants just strolls down to the other end and puts the third one up on the goal. I don't know how that ball did not fall. Great play from Slice to save that save that goal. That was really well done. So Orange team still in control here, but Blue had just had a great opportunity. Let's see if they can uh, make something happen here, but looks like the demo is going to be on point, and Hammer Pants is going to take this one to the house. Three goals on four shots here in the match for him. Really good play from Hammer Pants coming out of here, just putting on an offensive show. 4-0-2 Purple D rank at this point in time. They are looking strong. Both teams coming in at one-on-one, -on -one, so if uh, Purple D rank gets this, that'll bump them up to two and one and help them raise up in the standings a little bit. Good move, good attempt there from Jacob though, but Slice is there to clear this one away. Now Slater knocks this one forward a little bit as Hammer Pants gains control of it. Again, guys, this is our Division One matchup between um, Purple D Rank and Calculated FC. Both teams come into this matchup at 1-1, one and one, and we are in the midst of game number two here between these two teams. Purple D Rank, the orange team that's currently up 4-0 in this match, is up 1-0 in the series. It is a best-of-five series, so uh, still time for the blue team to try to make a comeback here, but it's not looking good here in game number two. They're going to need to make something happen if they want to have a chance here in this series. Good, uh, I was going to say good clear from Jacob though, but actually put it a little bit into danger there for the orange team. Slater though comes up and gets the ball forward into the air for Jacob though, who knocks it towards Orange's goal. But Orange there, great touch off the wall from Slater though, as this ball was bouncing towards Orange goal. But Hammer Pants, amazing recovery and uh, is able to get there. Orange team is really showing some fantastic boost control here, as every time it seems like Blue's got an opportunity to knock one in, somebody comes flying across the screen for Orange, and you know they probably just grabbed that corner boost and uh, got what got the juice that they needed to get up there and make that aerial save. But uh, Blue team trying to weather the storm here a little bit and knock this ball forward. We've seen some flashes of brilliance from them, just need to try to convert that into the goal. and. Uh, Hopefully they can get one to drop here, get a little confidence booster here to go into game three, but unfortunately that's not going to help. Errant touch there from Jacob the knocks this one right in front of his own goal, and Hammer Pants says, I'll take that. Knocks it in. Fourth goal of the game for Hammer Pants. Really great showing from him. Definitely capitalizing on uh, any opportunity he's been given, and it's a huge reason that uh, Orange team is up right now. 
Thanks so much to everyone tuning in. I see we've got 15 viewers here. If you're new, make sure to hit the follow button so that you get notified when we go live. We are going to be bringing you games all week. We've got two tonight, another one coming up at 8 p.m. Eastern. You'll want to make sure you tune in for uh, the marathon we're going to have on Wednesday as we have games at 7, 8, 9, and 10 p.m. I'll go into a little bit more details on uh, what games those will be to close the stream. But Hammer Pants, another one, and another one. Five goals for Hammer Pants. Beautiful pass from Slice. Purple D rank is just getting away with everything right now. They can get off any shots that they want. They can score at will. I'm feeling bad here for Calculated FC. I know that they're playing their hearts out here, but Orange is just looking too strong right now. Good clear cross from Jacob the Rube Danube. I'm hoping for a reverse sweep. We'll see what happens here. It is best of five. Um, with Orange taking this one, they'll go up 2-0. Almost there for Jacob the, but Slice knocks it away, and then Hammer Pants is there to deny Slater the opportunity, but Slater gets a good touch on it. Slice, though, with the backflip, knocks that one away. Just great all-around play from the Orange team. Really high-level play that we're seeing. Uh, speaking of high-level play, Jacob the comes flying out of nowhere to try to knock one in at the last second. Can't quite get it to go, and uh, Orange, Purple D-Rank, holds on and takes a convincing... I'm going to say 6-0 win, but they're just keeping the ball up in the air. I don't know if blue team can get it down here, or is this going to be 7-0? This might be the longest we've seen on one of the streams where these guys have been keeping the ball up in the air. Really well done by, uh, by both teams, having a lot of fun there at the end. So Purple D rank takes the win, 6-0, very convincing fashion. Um, we've seen great play from them, and you see Hammer Pants with the highlight plays, five goals for him, but Slice, definitely no slouch there with uh, four saves. Jacob, though, four saves of his own, though, so definitely hustling on the defensive end there to, uh, to try and make it happen. <laughs> D'Lo already coming in here and calling that S7's going to win here in the, uh, in the 8 p.m. time slot. We've got uh, S7 Esports going up against Bros Before Throws. Our top two Division Three teams, so you'll definitely want to hang around for that one. Both teams are 2-0. and o, Should be a good one. Uh, Davey Rocket showing up in chat. What's up, man? Always good to see you. You made the highlight play. Uh, you made uh, the top three highlight plays with your uh, overtime victory in Friday. Or overtime, overtime victory. Uh, I can't even talk, guys. Overtime goal on Friday in the Friday friendlies, bringing Team Teen out of the victory. All right, blue team, I want to see something from you. Great play there from, oh, I love it. Jacob uh, changed his name to Jacob the Whoops. Good, you know, this, he's got a great sense of humor. He, on Friday, he changed his name to uh, Jacob the Lagon Wagon and was rocking a uh, wagon in our Friday friendlies on the Tokyo underpass. And now it looks like he's uh, Jacob the Whoops here for uh, game number three in this best of five series, which hopefully won't be the last game, but... Uh, with the way Orange has looked, it's it's gonna it's, I'm gonna need a heroic effort from the blue team to bring us into a game number four. So Orange still uh, nothing on the board yet. Slater knocks this one into the corner. We'll go ahead and say that was an intentional pass to Jacob the Whoops. Um, slice though off the backboard and Hammer Pants. Whoa, blue team lucked out there because he's been connecting on those all night. That has been the play between Slice and Hammer Pants, knocking it uh, off the backboard. Now here's a chance for Blue. Hammer Pants, though, intercepts the pass, and uh, he's going to take this one in upside down. Maybe put in a little bit of style there at the end. Really great timing and aerial touch there from Hammer Pants to push this one forward. He saw the pass play coming in, was able to, able to intercept it, and converts the first goal for Orange here in our game number three. Huh. Always nice to see a uh, server health button pop <laughs> uh, warning pop up there in the in-between. I don't know if anybody else caught that or if that was just on my screen, but uh, that was funny. So Orange now knocking it up off the backboard. Jacob the Whoops gets this one away, though. I need some whoopses in the chat for Calculated FC here. We got Jacob the Whoops. We need, uh, we need some whoops power, uh, and <laughs> there's the whoops right there. Slice. Jacob though is able to get that one away, but Slice is able to finish that one up. Slater going with an oops instead of a whoops there in the chat. Psionic servers are OP. Yes, indeed they are. Neither team has said anything about lag though, so we'll uh, 
hopefully think hopefully it's been holding steady for them here. As far as I can tell, based on the stream I'm seeing on, on the other screen I've got over here, the stream's looking good, so hopefully you guys are enjoying the show. No lag issues or anything like that on my end. Um, Purple D rank 2-0 here in game number three. I just want to see blue team knock a, knock a goal in here. They got to get on the board. They didn't score in games one or two. We can't go for a complete shutout here, can we, boys? Got to get at least one goal on the board. Although they pretty much got robbed of one by Slice in game number two. Ball was three quarters of the way in, and he made an epic save. So blue team pushing forward here a bit. Slater tried to knock this one up, but Slice is all over it. Now Hammer Pants comes flying in and beats Jacob the Whoops to the ball. Hammer Pants going for the second touch off the wall, doesn't connect on it, and Slice knocks this one up. Slater, though, gets it away, but Hammer Pants taking a shot at it. Jacob the is there to clear that one away. Good touch from his from uh, Jacob the. Now Slater looking to knock this one up. Gets a first touch, gets a second touch, pushes it forward and looks to try to keep control on it. Keeping the ball up there. Now Jacob the going to take the shot. Almost in. Made it past Hammer Pants, but the goalpost was there to keep that one away. Jacob the Whoops demo and Hammer as he tries to make the counterattack. Now Slice coming in here to try to make something ha happen. Jacob the Whoops knocks this one forward though. Both members of blue miss it though. Slice gonna make him pay. He is. Unfortunate miscommunication there from blue. Looked like they both called it. They both went for it and they both missed it. And Slice with the uh, the angry looking porg for his uh, his his photo there knocks in a goal. Slice wanted to do a. Uh, Put a couple goals on the scoreboard here because he's been setting up hammer pants all night. He wanted to get a few of his own. 3-0, very commanding lead here to um, Purple D rank. Maybe four unless Jacob uh, can get there, but he can. Good save on his part. And, uh, yeah, it's looking like Purple D rank's going to hold on to this and pretty easily take the 3-0. Just, they just came out and looked really, really strong tonight. Uh, calculated FC, had some good plays, made, made some uh, good... Ooh, great touch from Hammer Pants. They're off the top, but Blue is able to knock that one away. Blue team has shown some really good plays. Uh, they just haven't, unfortunately, been able to finish anything here as... You know, that I would I would give more of a credit to Orange's defense than really anything the blue team's done wrong. They've been all over the place, saving pretty much every shot that Blue is trying to put on the board here. But, uh, yeah, I mean... Sometimes you just gotta you go up against these tough defensive matchups, and uh, it's all you can do to try to get a goal in there. And oh, that was a great opportunity there, but Jacob the Whoops not able to connect. Good chance for Blue to not want uh, notch one on the board there, but they couldn't quite make it happen. Now Slice came streaking in trying to make it four, but it looked like it was knocked away. FTFG420 says shout out to Hammer Pants, and uh, as he's giving the shout out, Hammer Pants hears you and knocks in another goal. Tons of tons of goals tonight for Hammer Pants. He's just been uh, just been raining goals all over the place. He's done a really great job tonight. Um, blue team though, good showing, gave it a good effort, but Orange was just too strong tonight. They uh, pretty much. Won, I mean, they won every game without even conceding a goal here unless something happens in the last 20 seconds. Orange gets the complete shutout. Now Hammer Pants with some absolutely amazing air dribbling through. Just takes it past the blue defense, controls it. Great play. Really great play from Hammer Pants there. Yep, I see somebody tried to post a link there. Looks, Yeah, no, no links allowed here, unfortunately, but... Uh, so if you do that, Nightbot's going to drop the hammer. But everybody's been behaving for the most part here lately. Um, Nightbot hasn't had to uh, had to drop the hammer on people too much lately here. But uh, links, links will do it. Links and symbols. Great, uh, great showing here from the orange team as blue team tries to knock that last one in there, but they can't get it to go. Amazing defensive and offensive performance from the Orange team as they take the 3-0 series win. Great play from uh, both teams. And, uh, yeah, the teams are just uh, giving each other some GGs here. Good sportsmanship being shown. Great play from Purple D Rank tonight. Came out, didn't concede a single goal. Um really just put on a show so well done to the orange team but also a great game to the blue team um, i'm sure we'll see them bounce back next week and uh, see what they can do from there so 
FTFG, thank you very much. I appreciate uh, appreciate the compliment on the commentary. If you like what you're seeing, definitely hit the follow button. If Hammer Pants is one of your friends, we'll definitely be bringing you his games as well as uh, a lot of the other guys in the chat are IGL players, so that we'll be bringing more of their games as well. Um, we're going to be wrapping up the stream a bit here. I'm going to try something new. I made a uh, made a tiny little infographic to throw up on the screen in between games. We do have a game at 8 p.m. Eastern. Again, that's between our top two Division Three teams. They're both 2-0. They're fighting for first place in the division. You are absolutely not going to want to miss that. That starts at 8 p.m. Eastern. Bros Before Throws versus S7 Esports. Um, I am going to keep the stream live, but I'm going to try to throw up a little infographic. So we'll see if, if what I did works. As we close out the stream here, GG's to Calculated FC and Purple D rank. Very well done. Great showing from both teams. Uh, tough matchup for Calculated FC and Purple D rank ends up taking the series 3-0. If you like what you're seeing here, definitely make sure to hit the follow button. Um, and if you have a Prime sub that you're looking for something to do with, you know where the sub button is, top of the screen. We've got some pretty awesome emotes, and uh, I'm sure more will be coming soon as we get more subs. Definitely give us a follow at IndieGaming317 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, make sure to join our Discord because we have, as Nick just pointed out, We've got Friday Friendlies, and anybody can join, even people that aren't playing in our summer circuit. Friday Friendlies are just a good way for the community to get together, play some fun games. We stream them, we commentate them. You get to uh, have a little bit of that professional game feel on a Friday night there, just having some fun with your buddies. So we'll be putting out some more information on that, on what we're going to be doing, and if that inf info will be in the Discord. So make sure you join that if you're not already in there. Um, like I said, I've got a got a gonna stay live. Got an infographic. Make sure to tune back in here at 8 p.m. Eastern for our top two Division Three teams, Bros Before Throws and S7 Esports, going at it. I'm Commissioner T now signing off. I'll see you at 8 p.m.